Hello and welcome to this episode everyone. In this episode we want to talk about broadcast messages and how do they work and how we can send a broadcast message to our network. So let's get started. I want to build my topology first so bear with me for a few moments. So here we are with our topology build. I have a few PCs, PC1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and each one of them configured with an IP address 192.168.1.1, PC2 with a 2 IP address, and 3 and 4 and 5. As you can see, the arrangement of the PC numbers and the IP addresses are the same. Uh, we do have the default uh, subnet mask. Let me write the default subnet mask in here as well. 255.255.255.0. It's a class C IP address subnet mask. So now I am here in the simulation mode. I want to open the event list so that I can see all of the packets that are going to travel within this network. I have the filters enabled. I'm only seeing ICMP packets nothing more and now let's use PC1 to initiate a broadcast message to all of these other PCs. We know that the broadcast messages if we are using it in layer 2 for MAC addresses the broadcast MAC address is this address and for the IP addresses this is the broadcast IP address. So let's go to PC1 and I want to initiate a broadcast message from PC1 to all of the other PCs. If I try to ping, let me just uh, make it smaller, ping 255.255.255.255 and try to ping, as you can see this address is not pingable. So how am I able to ping all of the other computers in my local area network in my in this subnet. Basically the only way that we can create a broadcast message is by sending a broadcast message to the broadcast IP address of this local subnet. So basically I need to send a message to 192.168.1.255 which is the broadcast address for this subnet. Let's go and do that. Ping 192.168.1.255 now. As you can see, the ping has initiated from PC1. I will play the simulation. It is coming to the switch. Now from the switch, because it's a broadcast message, it goes to laptop 5. And in turn, it goes to all of these other computers on this local area network, on this subnet. And you should remember that broadcast messages, they can never travel beyond the local subnet. They always stay within the local subnet. And that is the broadcast domain for broadcast messages. As you can see now, the broadcast messages are successful and even if one of the computers reply to 
the broadcast message, the broadcast message will be successful. You can see now that there is reply from all of these computers, from from the PC2 and PC5 and PC3 and all of them. That's it for this episode, everyone. I hope this has been informative for you. And please let me know in the comment sections below. If you have any questions, I would be happy to answer it for you or make a video about it. And I look forward to see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.